Hi, my name's Piers Sanderson. I'm the director of The Art of the DJ. I wanted to make this film uh, as a follow-up to a, an earlier film I made five years ago called High on Hope. High on Hope told the story of what happened when Acid House first arrived in the UK. And I was very interested in the next chapter, how it went from underground to overground, how uh, this, this underground culture was exported across the world. And I like to, although these are kind of big ideas, I like to have uh, a human story at the centre of this. And um, I think Steve Lawler's journey, I know Steve Lawler's journey is an amazing way of charting this piece of our social history. Uh, I knew Steve uh, back in uh, the end of the 80s, early 90s, when he was uh, working in a record shop in Birmingham. Uh, but I lost track of him, I lost contact with him. And um, so I wasn't aware of how he went from being a, a, a sort of local warm-up DJ to this uh, international, this global headlining um, headlining act. Uh, and I was always really inspired by the fact that he'd done so well. Um, but uh, until I actually started making this film, I didn't know how he'd done it. And um, one of the things that absolutely blew me away when I started making this film and when I first interviewed Steve was his honesty. Um, he is disarmingly honest in this film. Uh, in this day and age, the well-known, famous DJs are heavily managed and they kind of airbrush out the early days, the more colourful parts of their history. And Steve hasn't done that. And, um, and I think you're going to be uh, as blown away as I was when I first heard this story, when you, when you hear the, the details of his journey. Um, I think this is an important film because it documents an important part of musical history. Um, I think it's got an amazing soundtrack and I think Steve is a brilliant protagonist and I think you're going to like this film. I hope you're going to like this film. Um, so enjoy.